Why would an exercise keep me fatter? Well, you're doing endurance type exercise. So it is an advantage that your body is giving you to keep you fat because it sees you trying to do an activity which requires a fuel load and that activity is long in time and what your body wants to do is help you get that work done with the least amount of energy used possible. So increasing storage, meaning holding more body fat, decreasing usage of fuel, which means decreasing muscle size. So by giving your body the signals that you want to be an endurance athlete, you're basically saying you want to be fatter and weaker. Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I'm a doctor of biomedical engineering, which gives me a unique perspective on a lot of things, human physiology and exercise science related that are different from what you might be hearing from other social media influencers. So today I want to talk about strength versus cardio. And I get a lot of questions. Where should I put my cardio in, in my workout day? And that's I, like, that's like an everyday question. Now, primarily, my, my answer is, why are you doing the cardio? Are you doing the cardio because you want to be a great runner? Because if you want to be a great runner, there's only one way to do that. You got to run. If you're doing it because you're trying to lose body fat, that's, the, that's not the right path. It, it's not an impossible path, but your body's going to fight you the whole way because as you're doing cardio, you upregulate cortisol and you upregulate cortisol for a much more extended period of time than other cortisol upregulation activities like getting out of bed or drinking a cup of coffee or strength training. Strength training increases your cortisol because it's a stress, but it goes back down very quickly. Endurance type exercise elevates it for a lot longer. And when that happens, especially when you do it on a regular basis, which if you're trying to become an endurance athlete, you're doing it on a regular basis, now you're creating some problems. So you're upregulating cortisol in a chronic manner because you're doing it every day. Now, what does cortisol do? It does a lot of things, but two of the things it does is it metabolizes, it encourages the body to get rid of muscle faster. So metabolizing muscle, you lose muscle. The other thing is preservation of body fat. So it keeps you as fat as possible, as long as possible. Now you think like, why would an exercise keep me fatter? Well, you're doing endurance type exercise. So it is an advantage that your body is giving you to keep you fat because it sees you trying to do an activity which requires a fuel load and that activity is long in time. And what your body wants to do is help you get that work done with the least amount of energy used possible. So increasing storage, meaning holding more body fat, decreasing usage of fuel, which means decreasing muscle size. So by giving your body the signals that you want to be an endurance athlete, you're basically saying you want to be fatter and weaker. Now, I know there's some cardio guys out there who are gonna be really upset about this. And, you know, sorry, these are facts. Uh, if you don't like facts, go join the Democratic Party. Can't, I can't do anything for you. You can fix the problem in a number of ways. You could, number one, stop doing cardio, which is the choice I made. Or you can vary your heart rate while you do it. So if you're doing, your endurance type exercise, what you need to do is, let's say sprint for a minute and then slow down for five to 10 minutes and then repeat that process. If you vary the heart rate, you completely disconnect this process. So what you're doing is called high intensity interval training, H-I-I-T, not to be confused with H-I-T, which is high intensity training. That ends up solving the problem. Now, when you want to do this, uh, you never want to do the interval training or any type of cardio before you lift. 
you really want fresh muscles that are full of glycogen when you do your resistance exercise. So if I have some sort of activity where I'm going to be like hiking around a lot, like every once in a while, like yeah, I live in Northern California, so people always want to go on hikes. That's cool. I got to get my strength training done first though. So no matter what time I have to wake up to get that done, then I can go and move a bunch of blood around and I'll, I'll still approach that in an interval manner. Now, of course, when you're walking and hiking, that's really not that big of a deal because it really requires, this, this problem I'm talking about really requires an elevated heart rate to be in what's called target heart rate. So that's actually not really a good example, but it's the only example that's real from my life because most of the other, like if somebody invited me to go on a run, I'd just say no, just because I, I don't want to deal with that. I want all my recovery ability going into building muscle and uh, keeping me, I'm not at a deficit of exercise. So I just, I just choose not to do that. And my body fat is really controlled by my nutrition. And so is yours. So if what you want to do is get lean. You really don't need to do a lot of cardio or, or interval training or really any of it. But if you just make that one change to do it high intensity for a minute and then like 10 minutes more moderate or lower intensity, you're going to get the results you're looking for and not sabotage yourself like most people are doing who spend hours and hours on the treadmill. I hope this helps. If you wanna argue with me, boy, you better bring research because I got some that I'll put in the comments if you want. But uh, thanks, I'll see you in the next video. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow. I'm gonna put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're gonna help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.